When the boy says he loves my body, but does not say he loves me, I let him. I close my eyes and feel his matchstick fingers strike against my flammable skin. I can feel the way he burns the girl out of flesh, the blue out of bones, the way he admires the glass jar that traps the dying firefly. How pretty the frame, how soft the entrance, how beautiful the gaping archway into the burned out church when he leaves careless hands flicking a spark into the belly of my mouth just so I remember how he feels just so I can write his name in whatever is left just so I think of him when I try to think of myself I find my body is a locked door I find I locked myself out I find I did it on purpose if the boy will love the body and burn the girl she will build a home upwind of the ash and pretend she is not cold suddenly Everything is the body, the weight, the worth, the shape, the case. It is easier to pretend the girl never existed, that all there ever was was flesh and cartilage and blood and ruins. If I am just thing, if I am just consumable, if I pretend I never learned how to kiss the ground and call it lover, then I never buried myself under the carcass of everything I used to trust. Then nothing went wrong that I am laughing along with the song of my own undoing, never tell anyone how I forgot to go home, how I couldn't now, how I don't know where I left the key, how I became the stranger in the window, the ghost in the eaves, how this body became haunted, graveyard, burnt sea, how I forgot to forgive a thing that could not ask for forgiveness, how I forgot it was not the thing that needed forgiving, the body cries for me to come home and all I can hear is his voice asking how sweetly I would like to be driven out. If I go back now, what will be left? How does the burnt forest learn to trust the sun again? How does it learn to reach for warmth without mistaking it for war? Does it ever stop being afraid of becoming beautiful and wild and a target? Will I ever stop being afraid of building myself into a castle of kindling? Does the firefly hate the hands that trapped it or the glass jar it died inside? Does it live long enough to choose? <laughs>